dear students we are starting a new chapter that is uh, about the root and it is the third chapter of morphology of flowering plants and in this chapter we are going to discuss the details uh, of a root the different types of root uh, the different modification occurring in roots and uh, of course the special types of roots and um, we will discuss in this chapter um, the functions of roots as well so let us understand first what a root is a root is a cylindrical organ root is what cylindrical organ non green uh, and without chlorophyll chlorophyll is absent in the root birds are not present in the roots and leaves are also absent in the root so if we uh, after this chapter we are going to uh, study about the stem in detail so there we will study that the stem has some uh, kinds of modification as well and which uh, we will study the underground stem so uh, there will be a, conf a confusion that uh, what is the difference between the stem if it is underground and uh, what is the difference uh, between the stem and the root so the main difference between a stem and a root is that that in stem there will be must birds and leaves while in root these both things are absent so you will be uh, able to distinguish between the root and underground stem uh, furthermore the root grow downward away from the light and develop from radical next we are moving towards the uh, tropism tropism is what tropism is the movement of root um, or the growth of roots so uh, the roots are positively geotropic positively thermotropic and positively hydrotropic now what a positively geotropic means positively geotropic means that it will move towards the soil you know, towards the gravity while positive thermotropic means that the roots will move and grow towards the suitable temperature which is the temperature which is suitable for its growth and hydrotropic means that it will move towards the moisture and uh, the roots are negatively phototropic which means that it move up in opposite direction from the light right so uh, seeds when a seed germinates uh, it you know, produces or its form embryonal roots that arise from the radical and when these roots will elongate they will form the primary roots the branches of the primary roots are known as the secondary roots while the branches of secondary roots are known as the tertiary roots and the branches of tertiary roots are known as the quaternary roots now coming towards the tape root uh, what is tape root tape root when the primary roots become the main root uh, throughout the life of a plant then it is called as the tape root and tape root is what this is actually arising from the radical and this condition is seen in uh, dicotyledonous plants example is advent rubber plant pea radish etc now coming towards the next topic that is adventitious root so adventitious roots occurs in those plants which lacks the tape root uh, the primary root here is short lived and it is um, it do not persist throughout the life of a plant uh, so the plant is uh, the plant will form some other root system that is called be the adventitious root and base these root arise from the base of a stem and these are the strong roots and uh, any root that arise from or develop from any part of the plant but that part should not be the radical um, this type of root will be known as the adventitious root adventitious root is what roots developing from parts of the plant other than radical right if uh, a root is arising from the radical then it will be called as the tape root but if it is arising from any other part of the plant then it is called as the uh, it is called adventitious root example is cyanodon dactylon uh, which is this uh, botanical name of a grass and uh, bryophyllum and maize next we will discuss about the functions of roots so there are uh, the main, two main functions of a root that is the anchorage anchorage means to fix the plant in the soil and absorption of food absorption of food it uh, helps uh, the root helps the plant to absorb nutrients minerals water molecules there are some special functions of the root as well the first one is store food and uh, now how the uh, what are the examples that uh, root storing uh, root is storing the food example is uh, radish carrot and turnip uh, some here some it also uh, absorb the moisture from the air uh, some kind of modification occurs in some roots uh, which make it as a respiratory organ as well and uh, some roots provide shelter to nitrogen fixing bacteria and uh, roots also provide extra support to the plant for which it goes under modification this was about uh, the roots thanks for watching